Hey, welcome back. It's Turner Creek Spark Chaser, and I got a great video for you today. Did you know that over 150 million Americans drink coffee each day, and each one of those drinks three to four cups? So that's 400 million cups of coffee a day. Now, I know I'm one of them, and if you're watching this video, I know you are too. And if you like your coffee freshly ground like I do every morning, then I bet you your coffee grinder looks like this. This cord has been wrapped around so many times, it almost is at the point where the cord is starting to break and I gotta fix it. It drives me nuts. This thing just looks like a wrapped up snake and I'm so sick and tired of looking at it. So I'm gonna show you how to fix this super easy in this video. You might be asking yourself, why is he wasting his time fixing a coffee grinder that really only costs around 15 to 20 bucks. Well, times are tough and I'm trying to save where I can and everything in my house deserves a second chance, even coffee grinders. So it is, it's time to get fixed. Look at this cord, it's horrible. I probably, I don't know. It doesn't work that good anymore, but it will work after this. Now you can go to your local hardware store and buy like an eight foot lamp cord. Obviously this cord is way shorter, probably only three feet because it's designed for countertops. So you can actually shorten this, but the plug is already done for you. And all you gotta do is shorten the length of the cord to whatever desired length you want. Also, what we're gonna do with this is we're gonna use environmental splices. These are super cool, super easy to use. You strip both ends of your wire and then you just take a lighter or a torch and very lightly melt the solder on the inside here and it joins the two together. It's really cool. Or you can use a butt splice if you don't have those. That's a mechanical connection that you can use just to crimp this side and this side and boom, it's connected. Now, is it a permanent fix? I would say so. Just don't go pulling on it, but I mean, depending on how your coffee grinder is made, you know, this one actually holds the wire into place so it's, you can't pull it out because it's mechanically held here. And that's a safety feature that they have for these. Now I did take this apart before to see if I can fix it internally. It's a lot harder to do that. So this is the easy way. Inside of here, it's soldered on certain terminals. You gotta get your soldering iron down in there. It'd just be more of a pain in the butt. So we're gonna do it this way. If you don't like it, then I guess go buy a new coffee grinder. Let's start. First things first, we gotta take off these two screws right here. Next thing we're gonna try and unravel and straighten this cable out the best that I can because we're gonna have to reuse some of this cord for our splice. That's pretty good right there. Depending on how your coffee grinder on the bottom is laid out where the cord goes in, will determine where you put your butt splices or your environmental splices. For me, I'll move this white sheath out of the way and I wanna have my splices underneath here, kinda of in this position right here. So we're gonna to have to cut this wire right here so these can attach to it. So where you see this solder ring right around here, that's where you wanna have your wire kinda of cut to, just beyond that where my fingernail is on my thumb right here. So I'm gonna mark it right there, grab some scissors and cut right there. Don't be afraid, just cut it. Boom. Now take a sharp X-Acto blade or knife and see how it's separated in the middle there a little bit. Just take your knife, go down with it. This is really sharp, you don't wanna cut yourself. So just be careful and do the best you can. It should slice fairly easy. Just like that, now both are separated. Now if you have a pair of strippers, go ahead and grab those. This I think is around 14 to 16 gauge. Always try the bigger one first and you wanna strip about a half inch worth of space off of that insulation there. 14 is exactly where I needed to put it. And now you're left with two copper ends showing. Now we'll rip this thing open. Okay, both cord ends here, following it out right there. Make a cut. 
Now you can do the exact same thing you did to your coffee grinder. Make a slit down the middle of it like that. Give it some separation. Take your strippers on 14 again. Give yourself about a half inch of copper showing. So if your old grinder plug end had a fat side and a skinny side, this is a Polaroid's plug. You're gonna to have to hook it up the same way to the new grinder. And it's very easy. I did a few videos on these. Please check those out. I go into great detail. They're awesome. I've helped out a lot of people fixing small appliances. But for this type of lamp cord, there's a smooth side and there's a side that has stripes or ribbed on it. And that is the same case with what is on your coffee grinder here, a smooth side and a rib side. Just match these both up and you'll never have to worry about it being in the wrong position. Now, if you had two skinny sides on your existing coffee grinder before you cut it off, then it doesn't matter. You can have these wires either way because that's a non-polarized appliance. Okay, now let's take one of our environmental splices we can slide it up one of our wires. This happens to be the wire that has a stripe on it. And then we'll make sure and match up the other wire that has a stripe on it. And what I like to do, I like to kind of take these and give them both a quick twist. Like that. And then what you could do now is you can fold this kind of down. like this, and then take your splice and put it back over that wrapped connection. And you wanna have the solder right in the middle of that connection like that. Now, all you gotta do is take a lighter or a small torch. Lighter works pretty good with this. It gets hot enough. And you're just gonna float it underneath the environmental splice. Don't burn your coffee grinder, but just kind of keep working back and forth like this. And eventually you'll see the solder melt. And once it melts, you are done. This could take a minute or so. I can now see the solder starting to melt. Definitely on that one side where the flame is hitting it. In about a couple seconds, I'm gonna let my lighter cool off and I'm gonna flip the coffee grinder 180 so I can put heat on this side of that connection. Just like that. Kind of hard to see, but the solder has melted onto the copper and it made those two used together. That's how it should look like when we're all done with the heating of the solder in the middle of the splices. So we're almost done. We have our connections made. Now, some people, before they put the butt splices on there, they'll put a piece of heat shrink on here. When they're done with this, they'll take your, their heat shrink, slide it up, melt the heat shrink, keeping this all in one piece. It makes it look good. These environmental splices, that it already provides an electrically safe um, contact over these splices here. But I don't want to do that because I wanted to show you another way too. You can take just some uh, black electric tape and you can just kind of go over these connection points just to further satisfy safetyness. Don't have to make it look pretty because this is going to be underneath where the appliance sits on the table. And then if you wanted to, you can actually take some tape and just wrap around this entire thing real quick just to hold them into place. Like that. Now take your cord, bring it down like that in that little hole right there. Put your cover back on. Once your cover's on, you can tell it looks nice. Nothing's exposed on the outside of your cord right here. And this cover is providing strain relief so you don't accidentally pull out your wire. All right, plug it in right here. Put the cap on. 
And we'll make sure it works. Oh, it works. Look at that. There you go, we fixed our coffee grinder. Now, if you followed at home watching me do this, I'm so proud of you. Good job fixing your coffee grinder and saving yourself five, 10 bucks. It's worth it. Now you can have your freshly brewed coffee in the morning and not be a monster the rest of the day. I wanna thank you for watching the content. If you did like it, please leave me a thumbs up. It helps my channel grow. Leave me a comment down below. I love answering those. If you have any questions, please ask me. I will answer them, I promise you. And if you can, subscribe. It goes a long way and it helps my channel out so much. You don't even know. Until next time, thanks a lot and take it easy.